Hey, hey, hey. Concern. Content that leads to ignorance. You gotta wanna learn. You barely breaking even, but you still be trying to serve. I deliver. Live with Foot Films in here with Concept Two Code. How you doing? What's up with the man? How you doing? I'm doing good. Feeling good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So, uh, where did you get the name Concept Two Code, and what does it mean? Man, uh, to me, concept just means like full of ideas, you know. Uh, constantly like flicking the light bulb on for motherfuckers and getting shit in motion. Uh, I got the name from my boy Uncut when we was just just starting, probably like 12, 13 years old. He just started calling me that. And uh, we just roll with it. And then my first mixtape was Concept Two Fucking Code, and it just the two code just stuck from there. Okay, okay. So uh, where you from? Where you coming from? So I was born in born in Saint Petersburg, Florida, and then I was raised in Southern Wisconsin, like right above Illinois. And then shit made man out in California. Okay, how long you been out in Cali? You like it? Shit, I've been out here going on like six, seven years now. Yeah. Six, seven years? Yeah, Hell yeah! It's good. It's way better. You know, been uh. In uh, the mid Midwest and shit, as far as money goes and everything like that, it's slow out there in Wisconsin. Like, what's uh, the what's what, what's what goes on out in Wisconsin? You know, I never slow. even heard it's about like, Wisconsin like that. It's like if uh, like where I'm from, it's probably more like Modesto or something like that. Uh huh. Um, farmland, and but yeah, everything above that is it's a lot of like yeah, farms and uh, just driftless Wisconsin, man. You know? Hell yeah! Like, what's the weather like? Is it humid? It's humid. Yeah. Humid. humid. Oh it's, man. It's, it snows, snowy, humid. Where exactly is that? That's the Midwest, right? That's the Midwest. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's the North. Hell yeah, I ain't been there yet. I plan on going. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what what influenced you to start doing music, or who? Shit. Uh, my dad was a DJ, so from the time you know, from the time I was a little kid, it was just music was everywhere. Uh, he toured U.S. and and Europe and everything like that. And then so shit just seemed natural, you know. Start making music. Um. Rap, I always knew it was rap, you know, for me when I was, from the time I was like a little kid. Mm -hmm. uh, I listened to a lot of uh, like Easy e and NWA and shit uh -huh. like that. And then like a lot of Eminem and uh, SPM. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know. Uh, Anybody ever call you Eminem when you was trying to rap? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely heard that. Definitely heard that more than once. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah. I got a little more flavor in that. You know? Yeah, it comes with it. It comes with <laughs> it. It comes with the rap, man. <laughs> so you got any regrets? Any regrets doing music, man? Just man, just not just being too patient, you know. Just not getting everything out and and being on top of it, because really, a lot of this music is stuff I've had made since I was fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You know, a lot of that shit. Just, and just finally flow, you know. It only move forward. It don't. Yeah. It don't go backwards. So a lot of those things might never see the light of day now, because that's just not what it is anymore. You yeah. Know? And I should have dropped those then instead of just holding them because now I just got them. Fuck, I'm gonna do with them, you know? Yeah, a lot of people have. Yeah, we got problems with putting stuff out, and we be down doubting ourselves instead of yeah. putting the shit out and just not it's giving a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, man, you never you, man, you could you could you could get it all or lose it all. It's like you ain't gonna gain nothing from keeping it. That's exactly. It's right. like, man, that's crazy. Cause I I hear a lot of people saying that they got music from four or five years ago that they never put out, and it's like I do the same thing. So I do music too, so it's like. Mm -hmm. We all do. We all just doubt ourselves instead of just instead of seeing our light. We know we shine at some some point in time. We from the shine. It's just you, you know you got to work for it, yeah. pretty much. But uh, so what's the biggest highlight of your musical career up to now? Man, just just getting TCMG put together and uh, just the platform for all my boys and everybody else to uh, to really uh, show what they've been doing and do it the right way and put these videos together and drop and have a vehicle to enter the industry, you know, um, uh, that's big for me. Uh, shit, besides that, just dropping all these, all these videos, getting, getting the little connections I've been getting and, uh, making some shake, you know, what is, what is the, uh, label stand for? TCMG is that, that's two cold media group. That's, that's, uh, me. And it's just right now it's just a, like a collective of artists, you know, mostly from, from where I'm from, Wisconsin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Who's, uh, you got any main art, like, uh, any main artists that you, 
uh, my boy DB right now is gonna be popping out. Uh, huh. He's got some music out right now, but he's really about it, about to be uh, starting to make some shockwaves for sure. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm gonna be planning to hear some of that. Yeah. Hell yeah! So, uh, be the kid. what is uh, uh, if you collaborated with somebody dead or alive, who would it be with? Man, I, I it had to be Mac Miller. My man, Mac Miller. Yeah. Mac Miller, uh, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. That was probably for sure like the hardest, you know, the hardest, uh, the biggest blow of, uh, of a of a celebrity or anything like that. You know, yeah. You know, I'll never really uh, feel like Michael Jackson all over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll never really tune into that, but that one definitely hurt. So uh, yeah. So yeah. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Yep, that's how I feel too. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, a lot. We we losing a lot of great rappers, man. Got to be safe out here, man. Absolutely. So so uh, do you freestyle or do you prefer writing? I definitely I prefer writing when I go to the studio. I write uh I'll just slap on the beat and you know write the song right there to the beat and then go go record the song all in, you know, the time. I freestyle with my boys and stuff like that, but I don't I don't really I don't just do that shit, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. So like uh what's one of your um besides Mac Miller, who else like um inspired you? Shit, man. Uh I listened to a lot of uh, a lot of music. I listened to a lot of SPM for a long time. That was a lot. I listened to Don Trip for sure. It was a SPM? Big, Who's big, SPM? SPM is a South Park Mexican. South Park. I know. <laughs> I gotta yeah. check them out. Yeah, you could. You should. Tune SPM. In. That's, that's some real. Music. You like Woody and them? Some real music. I like Woody and them. Yep. Woody, yep. Awax. Yep. All them them Bay Area rappers. Yep. 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 They be la- they be slapping slapping the show. Yeah, big tone. Yeah. So, uh, do you got any shows that you've done? Yeah, we did. I've done a couple shows. I've done a couple shows in in Oakland, yeah. You know, and we we perform a couple like house parties in Sac and things like that. Um, I had one one bigger show up in NorCal, uh. But really, when I started popping, it was the same time COVID, so it was was like at its biggest. So uh, it, I haven't really got out there too much. You know, I'm, I'm excited to do some big shows, some good ones, do some big 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 uh, performances. One I'd like to do for sure is the Rave in Milwaukee. That's like where we would always go see shows when everyone was on their big tour across the country and shit like that. That's where we go see them. Uh, so that's, that'd be a good venue. Man, that. fuck COVID. So has COVID ever <laughs> uh, affected you? Yeah, man, COVID, it's, it's been big blow to the, to you know, as, as far as the music goes, for sure, doing shows and things like that. Uh, I definitely, I was hoping to do a tour uh, in like, 2022 right now type stuff but uh but same thing we just weren't able to to lock in and set everything up and really get it going so. okay okay hey, hey. so tell me bro who do you listen to now shit bro i listen to a lot of uh money man i listen to a lot of fredo bang and lil wayne i listen to mac miller i listen to a lot of awax been coming out with a lot of shit lately yeah, AWAX be slapping. Yeah, I yeah. listen to a lot of uh, CML and, uh, man, you know. CML, that boy, yeah, he he he, he got okay. a nice buzz going, too. I fuck with CML. So, uh, uh, what is your biggest dream? My biggest dream really is to, uh, I don't know, man, I guess get all, shit, caught me off with that one, uh. My biggest dream really is probably just to get all this TCMG started and get get, get a couple of money making artists out in the industry, you know, and uh really start to make a name for ourselves in that in that way. Okay, and growing up as a kid, did you have a dream label? Like when you like when you first started rapping, was it somebody you wanted to be signed to? I would I, it would be yeah, it would be a big dream to be signed to like uh Warner Brothers, uh Warner Records. And then it'd be also a big dream to do some distribution deals with Gazi at Empire. That would be big for us. Hell yeah. Those are some labels I would definitely like to work with. Okay. So uh, what, where was your biggest break point? And how do you feel about that? My biggest break point was uh, probably World Star. I went on World Star with uh, the Kill Your Creativity video. And shit, I think that's still my biggest one. It's got like 170k. Ain't no way I'm what you need. Get me paid. I don't share that where I stay. Fifties, hundreds on my brain. Stack up racks up in my safe. Now she throw pussy my way. Plan her lips below my waist. I don't take her out on days. Y'all just argue, say y'all done. Then she wind up at my place. Ben Franklin is my day. Right now. And then from that, it was just every everyone after that was was more popping than before that. You know, that's why I would say that. 
So I was looking at your YouTube. I seen you got a million views, man. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So Thank how you, does man. it feel to have your first million views? Man, it's crazy, man. It's a, uh, it's good. It's good. I ain't know uh, how fast it would happen. I'm happy that happened within the year and shit. And really, everything's just getting started with things. We got a lot of, a lot of things coming. So what's the formula to that shit, man? So I know some rappers is trying to figure out how do you get a million views, how you get on people playlists and stuff like that. Shit, man, just, just don't stop. You know, once you start, just, just don't stop. Don't let them, don't let them, uh, put you to the side. You know, you just gotta keep hammering, keep hammering until you break through. You know, it's a bubble. Bubble, you gotta pop that bubble. So, this is a weird question. So, has it been hard to like do do what you do for other artists? You know, that's that's really my favorite part because where I'm from, I feel like it's a lot of people who you know uh, have have the talent and stuff to do it, but they don't never really you know uh, make it out of that bubble. You know, and I think now I got my foot in the door, we can really start to start to get some things going on on that way. You know, I like working for other artists. Yeah, what's some What's some good advice that you would give if you knew if you knew everything that you knew now? Well, like I, like if you knew everything well, you knew now back then. Man, just 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 be ready, you know, just be ready at all times cuz really like when I when I had like that one second, boom, if I was if I was ready, it might have been a different path right now even, you know, just just make sure that uh that you have uh everything set aside and ready for it, you know? Hell yeah. So is you got any shout outs that you want to give out? Shit, shout out DB, shout out DB the Kid, shout out River, shout out my nigga Randingo. Yo. Shout out TCMG in general. Shout out Cheddar Bob and Jesse. Hell yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming out, bro. I'm I'm glad we got some info out you. Glad for, glad you came by Good and dropped here, some gems. We finna wrap it up, bro. Shout out Bigfoot Films. Yes, sir. Concept too cold. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm.